Hi, a warm welcome to you. In the last videos, we have seen A A A similarity and S S S similarity, which states that we don't need to have both the angles, corresponding angles equal, and the sides in proportion to show that the triangles are similar. If we know that the corresponding angles are equal, then automatically the sides are in proportion, and also. If the sides are in proportion, then the angles are corresponding angles are equal. In this video, we'll see another similarity criteria, which is nothing but SAS similarity criteria. That is nothing but side angle and side. So we have two triangles, ABC, DEF. We have been given that the angle A is equal to angle D. We have been given angle A is equal to angle D. And also, we have been given AB by DE. That means the sides which are included in this angle are proportional to each other. AB divided by DE is equal to AC divided by DF. So, what we have to prove? We have to prove that these two triangles are similarity, similar to each other. Now, like we have done in the last videos, to go ahead, we want to construct first AB AC on this. Because we want to leverage this AB by DE equal to AC by DF, and try to make sure and try and see whether we can get a parallel line or we can use converse of basic proportionality to find out the angles. Thereby, we should be able to prove that the triangles are congruent to each other. Okay. So to do that, let's do the first the construction part. The construction part is. Cut DP equal to AB, so this is P, and cut DQ equal to AC, so this is Q and this is P, and I'll join them. Now you can see that now you can see that the triangle ABC and the triangle DPQ are similar congruent to each other. The first step is triangle triangle ABC is congruent to triangle T P Q by side angle side congruency. You can check that. A B equal to D P construction we have done. A C equal to D Q the construction we have done. I have noted down here D P equal to A B and D Q is equal to A C. We know that angle A is equal to angle D, which is already given to us. So these two triangles are congruent to each other. That means, which says that angle A equal to angle D, angle B equal to angle P, angle B is equal to angle P, and angle C is equal to angle Q. Now let's leave it there. And uh, let us leverage this AB by DE equal to AC by DF. Now, since we have written, uh, we have done DP equal to AB, DQ equal to AC. I can write it as AB divided by DE is equal to AC by DF. That is nothing but equal to DP divided by DE. Is equal to DQ. AC is DQ divided by DF, which we know that very easily we can manipulate this to DP by PE is equal to DQ by QF. How we can do this? We can do that by reverse this, subtract 
minus 1 from both of them and reverse it back. You will be getting this. Okay. Now, see here dp by pe equal to dq by qf. This is nothing but converse of basic proportionality theorem which says that if there is a line which is in which is intersecting the other two sides of the triangle in such a way that the ratios are proportional ratios are in proportion then that line should be parallel to the the side that means pq is parallel to ef once we know pq is parallel to ef automatically we know that angle p is equal to angle e and angle Q is equal to angle F. But we know that angle B equal to angle P equal to angle E. So we know that angle B is equal to angle E which gives us angle B equal to angle P equal to angle E. That means angle B is equal to angle E and angle C is equal to angle F. That means we know that this is equal to this. Similarly, C is equal to angle Q equal to angle F. So that is how we have now this is nothing but a a a similarity by which we can say that triangle ABC and triangle e DEF are similar to each other. Let me just summarize this. We have been given an angle which are equal in both the triangles angle A equal to angle D and the sides including these angles that means ABAC and DEDF are in proportion AB by DE is equal to AC by DF. Now what we have to prove? We have to prove ABC is similar to DEF. So what we will do first now is we want to leverage basic proportionality theorem or the converse of it. So we try to get this triangle here. So what I did is I took AB equal to DP and I have cut here. Similarly AC equal to DQ. Now there is AB DP side and angle A equal to angle D which is given to us and AC equal to DQ. That means these two triangles ABC comma DPQ are congruent to each other by side angle side congruency. By which I know that if two triangles are congruent by CPCT I know that angle B equal to angle P and angle C equal to angle Q. Now leveraging this AB by DE equal to AC by DF substituting AB equal to DP and AC equal to DQ you can see that DP by DE equal to DQ by DF which you can easily manipulate to DP by PE equal to DQ by QF. But this is nothing but converse of basic proportionality which says that PQ is parallel to EF. If PQ is parallel to EF then the angle P should be equal to angle E and the angle Q should be equal to angle F. But we already know angle B equal to angle P that means angle A equal to angle D and angle B equal to angle E and angle C equal to angle F which is nothing but A A A similarity which we have seen earlier by which we can say that these two triangles are similar to each other. So in similarity criteria we have three criteria that is A A A angle 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 if three corresponding angles are equal the second one is the three sides are in proportion and the third one is an ang cut one angle of tri triangle is equal to angle of the other triangle one angle of the other triangle and the sides including these angles are in proportion that means AB by DE is equal to AC by DF then also the triangles are similar. So with this we have seen all the three theorems related to similarity criteria. We will go ahead and try to do solve some simple examples in the next video based on AAA, SSS and SAS similarity criteria. Thanks for visiting. Bye for now. See you in the next video.